What's up guys, Titan 1500, back again, it's been a while, not car content this time, but today, from the thumbnail, you've seen, we're working with a TW200. My dad, this is his bike, we do some rides, I have a KTM 300, and there's not a lot of tire options for these bikes. The front tires, uh, we have a Shinko 241 on here, that works much better than a stock Deathwing. Um, but lately we've been riding a lot of hill climbs, uh, pretty steep areas, and when it gets rain, the stock tire is terrible. The main thing is this pretty much constant tread. It just packs, and my dad is just constantly sliding around. He falls over up the hill. He'd be going straight and just, boom, takes a right or a left. It's just unpredictable. I've ridden it. Um, we looked in. There's the ATV tire method that you can put on there. You have to, like, scrape the bead use more pressure than is rated for people blow up the tires they put like ratchet straps around them we really didn't want to do that so what we're going to do uh we're going to cut the tire and i've already started a little bit here so to show you guys what we're doing we're taking the center lug out of every tire so basically i'm just going to draw a line across here and we're taking this section out and you can see the pattern it's given us so much bigger pattern in between every the center lug that gets to get the traction up the hills um, so to do that I have one of these reciprocating saws and I got a scraping blade for caulk and I, I'm running it upside down and so that you can see the bevel side that way when I, when I push in the blade wants to rise it doesn't want to dig I really got to force it to stay down um, Got a little high on the back side, but I'll cut it down. There we go. So pretty easy, and obviously a lot bigger gap between here. Um, as we keep going, you see obviously these lugs are much bigger in between almost two fingers but it's going to be a big improvement so i'll give you an update once i finish the rest of the tire Okay, so here's the first pass. You can see all the little nuggets all over the ground. So I haven't cleaned this up at all. But still much better. Okay guys, it's been a few months. Uh, I did lose the footage of the test ride, but it went great. I drove, took it on the highway, we we're going 55, 60 no vibration we didn't have to balance it so that was awesome you're pretty much removing the same amount of rubber from all around the tire so that just makes it easy um, me and my dad we also went on two rides after that in the dirt very impressed with the tire even taking up on the back doing clutch dumps in the sand and stuff a lot better i mean obviously you still spin the tire but it hooks up it tracks a lot straighter up the hills especially when it is spinning it's grabbing more and not being as slippery my dad is happy we got about 
it has to be about 50 something miles on it now with off-road a little bit of road on there and i would suggest to anybody uh, it's not going to blow your tire up uh, i know there's gonna be tons of people in the comments who have no idea you're just taking a little some tread out of it um yeah i mean there's no other option you have other than putting atv tires which aren't road legal on it and you have to cut the bead which is the most structural part of the tire to get them on there and th those really are gonna sound like crap down the road and not feel good so this keeps your same feel does give you some more performance um and in my opinion very minimal downside to this at all just a little bit of your time and uh yeah i hope you like it hope it saves some of you guys some money and some hassle and hopefully someday they make a real tire for these bikes thanks